So I have two examples, uh, two examples of, um, of, of manufacturing. Um, so one is with, within Bosch and the other one is with, uh, with a customer. So let's first introduce Bosch. Um, Bosch is a company which has, a, let's say, about 60% a business in automotive. So everything around in the car, if you open the car, you, then uh, you find a lot of technology from Bosch. Um, that's not the part where I'm active in. Um, I'm active in uh, what's called the industrial part, and that's uh, part of this 41%. And we um, talk about Rexroad. Rexroad is an automation company within Bosch, um, which has three activities. One is mobile hydraulics. Uh, mobile hydraulics means all the hydraulics which is on, on mobile machines, grave machines and that kind of uh, uh, applications. Then a second one is um, machinery applications. Uh, we call it large hydraulics, uh, like the control of, uh, of bridges, uh, control of uh, Panama Canal, um, and then the, th the third one, factory automation, that's my part, and that concerns um, businesses uh, where we supply the automation for uh, the manufacturing of electronics, that means semiconductors display, um, PCB manufacturing, and some other areas which I want, don't want to go in detail, but um, in the total turnover of factory automation in, is around 1.5 billion. So what kind of technology are we talking about? Um, hydraulics, um, controls. Controls means um, motion control, drives, motors. Uh, gear technology, mainly used in, in, uh, in uh, wind generation. And the fourth one is linear technology and assembly technology, transfer systems, linear guides, ball screws. Turnover of Rexroad is 5.4 billion, so it's uh, less than 10% of, uh, of the Bosch turnover. Still a significant turnover. Um, I noticed uh, when I came here and I joined also the, the workshop that the term Industry 4.0 uh, has not been mentioned, but I spoke with some people in the break and uh, they are aware. So um, I would say within our company, Industry 4.0 is, is, is a slogan, is a word which I hear 100 times a day. And, um, and it's mainly driven by Bosch because if you see this picture, you see that Bosch is, has a really a push to implement Industry 4.0 for all their factories. And uh, they take a lot of measures to, uh, to get, um, let's say, the smart adaptive factory. And lead, as lead customer, lead operator, uh, we have external, internal suppliers, and Rexroad is one of them as, as automation supplier. Uh, one other one you see is SensorTech, a company which um, is strong in making, developing sensors. Uh, one of an, of an interesting customer is uh, Apple, using, using a uh, sensor for, from, from, uh, from Bosch. So this picture means Bosch is Industry 4.0 customer and um, Rexroad as an automation company is supplier to, to Bosch but also to the open market, more importantly to the open market. So what Bosch defined is, I think some years ago in automation, the tendency was everything automated. So no, um, no human, no labor, uh, meanwhile, uh, it's admitted that uh, the person, the peop people are important and the people are in the middle. So they are the center of the whole process. And the rest is organized around it because there will always be a kind of uh, manual work um, to be done and that can be supported. So the other symbols are uh, related to distributed system, uh, easy configuration, interfacing, standard, standardization, um, simulation, 
the life cycle and uh, the security and safety of, of networks. So, first example. Um, we have um, within Bosch a, a factory building uh, mobile um, valves for hydraulics. On the right side you see the cu some customers. And these um, valves are built of slices. And uh, there's a huge variety of slices and components, 2,000 components, two 200 slices. And as, as some of these slices built and you see it on the right side, you see this evolve block. And um, the, the challenge was, and that was the, really the, the goal of the Industry 4 Points product or project, the final assembly of this, this valve. So in the middle you see the challenges which I think a lot of companies are confronted with is shorter life uh, cycles, um, customization and that all that um, challenges. Um, in, the, in the past, there were mono lines. That means that every, every slice for this hydraulic part was manufactured on one line. Um, the goal is to, to deal with all those challenges and have a, a flexibility. And so they built a, a line uh, where the, all the slices could be manufactured, completely flexible. And um, that was a project. Um, I think if you look to Industry 4.0 and, the, and the, the start of Industry 4.0, talk about 2013-14, this is one of the first projects within Bosch where they started with uh, the definition of Bosch production systems, more related to what Toyota used as production systems. And um, the the automation portfolio, all the energy elements like uh, uh, energy saving component systems and uh, remote control engineering. So there was an uh, industry 4.0 spec, there was an expectation what to be achieved with this uh, false and um, in one year th this new line should be operatable. So what has been done is that um, there has been an, an integration, horizontal integration between um, products, people, machines, and a vertical integration between machines and the whole order processing. Um, th that means that every, what has been done is that every valve is paired with a carrier so that it's uniquely identified identified in the whole manufacturing steps. Uh, every person has a blue, uh, Bluetooth tag, so it's identified by, by the, the machine which operator is there. Um, final result is that, um, that a customer can have a view on the capacity in the, in the factory and have a complete transparency what kind of orders he can put in and when he can expect um, his output. The linking element is uh, what we call the RFID, so the element which is in the carrier, which is paired with one of each slice, and that brings the shop floor and the office environment uh, together. And um, if you see one workstation, you saw on the, on the whole package the U-form of the, of the line, you see a workstation, and um, in the, if each workstation there is the full check and the flexibility to um, produce all the different slices, and it also supports the operator uh, to, to put the manual additions and the checks. So, for example, if in, um, an operator has a Bluetooth um, tag, he can be recognized and he get full instructions what kind of uh, operations he has to do. You get all the instructions. There is a difference between a newcomer, so you can work with people who are um, having limited experience, and people who have, let's say, the highest experience are also capable of giving the feedback what they see as um, what could be wrong, what could be improved. <coughs> this line is... Um, a success, it's fully operational, 
and it's within Bosch kind of showroom uh, where the, 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 let's say the factory has to, to be um, critical who is coming to visit them because there are visitors from all of the world who want to see such, let's say, first Industry 4.0 line. A second example is um, a, a process quality management as a, for a customer um, outside Bosch. So Rexroad supplies a solution to uh, this company. Um, this is aside the whole manufacturing environment. It is in parallel with the MES and the ERP, and it concerns an, a tightening application. Uh, so one of the products and solutions Bosch and Rexford has is tightening, mainly used in automotive and airspace. So it's manual tightenings, robot tightenings, and the customer made this uh, requirement as being having a um, mass production, fast ramp up, and multiple sites. And they wanted to ha achieve uh, zero defects. They have multiple sites, so they achieved in this uh, process quality manager an overview of, of all sites. So every, every field is either a station or a site or a, or a complete plant. And they want to see what's, if, let's say, what is, is there any problems? Is there any deviations from what is expected? Um, and um, as soon as a field or a station is green, that means there is no problem. As soon as there is yellow or red, that means that one of the, the uh, tightening tools have a problem. It doesn't mean that, um, that there is a wrong uh, production step because there is immediately um, an interaction from the operator, but this is based on the data analysis statistics afterwards to be able to improve the whole process. So um, there is uh, the definition of what's, what's uh, a right tightening and what's, when is it not okay. It uh, has all, everything to do when, when a, um, um, a bolt is tightened softly. And from that moment on, after s uh, several degrees, there is the required uh, torque achieved. If there is too much torque, then it's, uh, it could be destroyed. That means that um, every, for every uh, bolt, it will be completely um, loosened and tightened. And then there was an analysis if, if that bolt has a, has a, right, um, a right tightening. So for every, every bolt which is tightened, there is a, a measurement in the tightening tools as data logging. And here you see the difference between a green one, which is okay, and the red one is not okay. So what you see here is that the, the bolt is tightened. Then the first step is it, it's loosened. And then uh, you see in the middle that the direction is changed till at the end it comes to the required uh, torque. So, um, and every uh, green one is okay, every white one, a red one is not okay. And this is um, that's for every tool. And then the challenge is to have an overview worldwide for the uh, several factories to see um, what is the um, what is the um, the situation and what are the improvements to be achieved. And and finally, the challenge is to um, to get a kind of learning model uh, how this whole manufacturing can be improved, what to learn and how to use that in other sites on the world. So it reduces a lot of data uh, analysis, uh, and, um, collection of data, data analysis. Um, and in fact, it's the way to, co to achieve um, this um, limited um, failures. Um, and this is... Um, over a total of 300 tightening systems. So this is a joint um, project done by Rexroad with um, support of um, Bosch software. And this is an, um, 
a, an excellent example of how quality analysis ca can be done. So I would like to end with, um, with the name of, um, let's say, the automation campaign called Connected Automation. Um, we as Rexroad has, have an um, automation platform, drives, controls, um, which is completely open to interface with uh, companies around. So uh, companies collecting uh, the data like um, Oracle, uh, companies um, having other kind of equipment which we can easily interface. So this is um, the, the slogan you can often see if we as Rexroad present ourselves. So this is my presentation. Are there any questions? First time I am hearing 1.40, sorry, I 4.0 specification kind of thing. We need to learn more and explore that. Thank you very much. Uh, any questions? We are well within the time. Very much. Okay, thanks for your presentation. I was thinking you hear a lot from, especially from Siemens, uh, about the digital twins. Uh, do you use any sensor data so far to feed any simulation tools, or do you have plans for that? Um, we yes. have a lot of sensors ourselves, and we use a lot of sensors, implement a lot of sensors. If you look to those two examples, then we used the, um, the information which was already available, as sensors available in the equipment. Yeah, but, but do, you, do you have like installations where there are simulations uh, inline simulations where you feed data from production to do adjustment of processes or probably <laughs> okay that's not i'm not aware of okay any other question <laughs> <laughs> I think you had the, the example of the, uh, the connected workplace with the uh, operators with uh, RFD, well, Bluetooth tags and stuff. Uh, how, obviously for you, this is, uh, this is something to, let's say, push on a technology development basis. For many other companies, you would always have to, I guess, uh, evaluate what's the benefit of having this system as opposed to, let's say, uh, automation 3.0 where the operator himself needs to, you know, dig in his numbers or whatever they do. How do you argue the benefits of going to this fully integrated communicated system? Is that quality PPM or it's, it's what's certainly, the main argument? I think it's, the first one is the transparency. It's, uh, you can deal with experience of, of people, of operators, and, um, and you also can check um, because every step, every manual addition is guided. And that's dependent on the, let's say, the, the, the type of operator or the experience of the operator. But there, I think, the, finally, it's quality. Because you can really f validate uh, what this manufacturing step is. Okay. Thank you very much.